Tracking the vaccine for you tonight, more than 2 million South Carolinians now eligible for the COVID-19 vaccine. People lining up at vaccination sites across the state today. Those who are 55 years old and up, along with frontline workers, teachers, people with high-risk medical conditions, and many more can now get the shot. In the next half hour, we'll break down who this applies to and why some are having trouble making appointments. Meanwhile, the CDC issued new mask guidelines for people who are vaccinated, and it turns out that you can't put the mask away just yet. Fox Carolina's Brooklyn Cromer talked to an epidemiologist at Clemson to explain why and joins us live with the story. Well, Tori, one of the big takeaways from today's announcement, those who are fully vaccinated will be able to take off their mask in certain circumstances, but not all the time. The CDC says people who are fully vaccinated can safely resume certain activities. Leor Rennert is an epidemiologist at Clemson University and explains what this means. Once you're vaccinated and you're around other people who are vaccinated or you're around other people who are at low risk for severe outcomes, you will likely be OK not wearing a mask and not having to worry as much about physical distancing. You're considered fully vaccinated two weeks after the Johnson and Johnson shot or two weeks after the second dose of Moderna and Pfizer. After that, the CDC says it's safe to visit other fully vaccinated people without mask or social distancing. You can also visit unvaccinated friends and family members who are low risk for contracting the disease. For example, vaccinated grandparents can visit healthy children and grandchildren who have not been vaccinated. But if we are around people who are at high risk of the disease who have not been vaccinated. We want to make sure we are wearing masks and still keeping our physical distance because we don't want to risk transmitting the disease to them. The CDC says vaccinated people should keep wearing masks and practice social distancing in public and continue taking precautions to protect unvaccinated people who are at high risk. This also includes avoiding large crowds. There may be vulnerable people in that crowd and you don't want to risk getting them sick. Rennert says they're still studying if people can pass along the disease after being vaccinated. So it's important to follow the CDC guidelines until more research is done. So just how long will the vaccine last and when will you need to get a booster dose? I'll have those answers and more coming up at 11. Reporting live in Greenville, Brooklyn Cromer, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news.